A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a really interesting video for all of you. This client had messaged me and told me that her nails just won't hold anything at all. She's wondering if I could fix this. The lunula is very visible on her thumbs compared to the rest of her nails. That's the white half-shaped moon area by her cuticle. Because of the cuticle structure and the general structure of her nail, the growth area or matrix is a little more open, so any strong pressure that's done accidentally or on purpose results in a defect and creates this wave once the nail grows out. The waves that you see here resulted from a manicure cleanup. It could have been from the cuticle pusher or too much pressure by the cuticle from a nail drill. And this isn't my first time seeing these waves on a client who's done their own manicure cleanup. Since this area is really sensitive, when you're cleaning up dry cuticle, it's important to take your time and be extremely careful. Unfortunately, there's really no way to get rid of those waves. The only thing you can do is wait for them to grow out or cover them up in the meantime with material. And that second option is exactly what we'll be doing today. I'm starting off by carefully moving some of the dry cuticle back with an orange stick. When working with the nail drill, the nail shouldn't feel any pressure. And since this area is very sensitive, I'm being extremely careful with my nail drill. Then with a small pair of scissors, I'm removing any hangnails. Since her cuticle is very thin, the only kind of scissors that should be used are ones with a very thin nose. After removing the cuticle with scissors, I'm taking my nail drill and buffing everything up. I'm using the same flame bit that I used earlier for cleaning up the cuticle. After buffing up, I'm changing to a cylinder diamond bit with a round tip and blue abrasion, and I'm using this nail bit to file her nail plate. By using the nail bit, I can make sure that every ridge of her natural nail plate has been filed down, which is needed for proper adhesion of the material. Then I'm making sure that her nails have been properly dehydrated. Further, I'm using an acidic primer and once that has dried, I'm applying our base coat. I've chosen a base coat that is made for problematic nails.
Now for a polish. My client wanted something more subtle, so today we're using this beautiful whitish gel polish. Some may think that on short nails like these, you can't really do a design, however that's not true at all. So I'm taking my brush and creating decorative brush strokes in a beautiful gold glitter. And after letting that cure underneath the lamp, we're continuing to some fun stamping. My client has chosen a stamp of a unicorn, which was unexpected but really cool. As for the middle finger, we're adding a fun air balloon, and then on the other nail, some glittery details. Further, I'm taking my nail file and removing any material that may have dripped down since her nails are short. And here they are. Her nails are so cute and I really love the way this design turned out. After about a week, my client sent me some pictures to show me how her new manicure is holding up. There is a small chip on her middle fingers now, but nothing more. If you liked this video and found it interesting, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.